BTEC Applied Science Unit 3 Electrical Power. This is my second electricity video. Electrical Power. Look at this electric heater. Now, what is it designed to do? If you're a physics person, you would say it's designed to transfer electrical energy into heat energy. To transfer means to change it from one type of energy to another. So this heater transfers electrical energy into heat energy. And we say that the electric heater is doing work. Work is done when energy is transferred. And in this case, electrical energy is being transferred into heat. Here are some other devices, and they are all designed to transfer electrical energy as well. Uh, and they're all doing work. So the bulb is designed to transfer electrical energy into light energy, although we will also get a lot of heat because they're not very efficient. The kettle is designed to transfer electrical energy into heat energy. The fan transfers electrical energy into kinetic energy because the, it makes the air move, it creates wind. So that's kinetic energy. And the ghetto blaster thing is designed to transfer electrical energy into wave energy or sound energy. So they all do work. They all transfer electrical energy into another form of energy. The power of a device is how much energy it transfers every second. So power is energy transferred divided by time. We could measure power in joules per second because it's the number of joules transferred every second, but it has its own units and it's watts, capital W, watts. Uh, power is the rate at which energy is transferred, how much energy is transferred per second. Uh, at the bottom here, we've got three electrical heaters and if you look at the power of each one, the, the little one that you might take camping with you, 200 watts. The kettle in your kitchen, 3 kilowatts, 3,000 watts. And the big immersion heater, 6 kilowatts. 6,000 joules per second is being transferred. Calculating power, so we need to use this equation here. Uh, power is energy over time. You'll be given it in the exam, but there's a little triangle for now. This kettle transfers 540 kilojoules of electrical energy in three minutes. Calculate its power. So 540,000, or 540 times 10 to the 3, divided by 180, because the time is in seconds, and that gives 3,000 watts, or 3 kilowatts. I will do another video practicing these sums. Here's another one. This fan has a power of 200 watts. How much electrical energy will it transfer in 30 minutes? Uh, so energy transferred is power times time. So 200 times 30 times 60, and you get 360 kilojoules of energy transferred. OK, you can also say power times time uh, and the power is in kilowatts and the time is in hours and that would give you kilowatt hours. This is what we use for working out your electricity bill. Uh, you will get a bill per kilowatt hour for every kilowatt hour of energy you use. It'll be, I don't know, 10 pence. So, uh the units of energy, you can have kilowatt hours, kilowatts times hours. These are all the electrical quantities that we need to know. Uh, I covered three of these. Well, resistance should be on there as well, actually. Voltage V, volts V, current I, amps A, energy E, joules J, power P, watts W, time T, seconds S. There's another equation that we're going to look at in a bit for working out power. Power is voltage times current. If you know the voltage across a device, and if it's plugged into the mains, 
then that was would be 230 volts and then you know the current you can work out the power or if you know the power and the voltage you can work out the current now why would you need to work out the current well when a current flows through a thin wire it gets hot okay when a current flows through any metal uh, it becomes hot but a thin wire gets very hot uh, electrical energy is transferred into heat energy in light bulbs they use tungsten because it has a very very high melting point okay uh, other metals would melt if they got too hot and that's important because there's a thing called a fuse now a fuse is just a very thin piece of wire and it's designed to melt when the current is too big a three amp fuse should melt if the current going through it is three amps uh, a 13 amp fuse should melt if the current is above 13 amps now what does a fuse do well basically if the current in the circuit is too big then the little wire inside the fuse melts and it breaks the circuit and by doing that what you're doing is you're protecting the device the television or whatever uh, and also it's to stop fires as well if the current was too big then the television might catch fire and burn down the house okay uh, a fuse will break the circuit and hopefully prevent this from happening fuses don't protect people um, to protect people you need something called an rcd a residual current device that's not on our syllabus fuses protect equipment and uh, reduce the chance of a fire where do you find a fuse the device probably has its own fuse but you'll find a fuse in the plug fuses are found inside the plug that the devices use and it is important that you use the correct value for the fuse the fuse value shouldn't be too low or too big the value of the fuse should be just greater than the the current that the device would normally use look at this an electric fan draws a current of 1.5 amps uh, when it's working normally so what value of fuse should be used in its plug well if it's working normally at 1.5 amps then we should use a a 5 amp fuse if we put a 1 amp fuse in the plug then every time we plugged in the fan the fuse would blow even if there was nothing wrong if we put a 10 amp fuse in then there might be a problem there might be some you know the, the thing could be on fire but the fuse doesn't blow so we want the value of the fuse which is just greater than the current that would normally be used and would use the p equals vi equation to work that out an electric kettle has a power of three kilowatts it's plugged into the 230 volt main supply uh, what value fuse should be used in its plug so what we're going to do now is we're going to work out the current so using the equation the current is the power divided by the voltage and so the current that the kettle would normally use is 13 amps so we should use a 15 amp fuse in the kettle.